Dear church and community, two weeks ago, Calvary's leadership began discussing contingency plans to deal with a possible outbreak of coronavirus or COVID-19 in the state of Delaware. We have been staying up to date with the Division of Public Health and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And we've been following their recommendations to prepare and counter the spread of any viruses. Today, we received news from Governor Carney declaring a state of emergency to prepare for spread of coronavirus. The declaration becomes effective 8 a.m. on Friday, March 13, 2020. Governor Carney's emergency declaration includes the following and will affect our weekend services. Governor Carney said, advises event organizers in Delaware to cancel non-essential public gatherings of 100 people or more to prevent community spread of coronavirus. This pandemic event and state of emergency have presented itself with a challenge for us as a church. How do we gather to worship God, learn from the Bible, serve, fellowship, and tithe? From there, there are many factors that go into making a decision of whether or not to hold weekend services. We must take into consideration our respect for local authorities as stated in Romans 13. We must take into consideration the health and risk factors of our members. We also must take in consideration law and liability for our church. While we long to gather under one roof, the health and safety of our church remains extremely important. With that said, we are postponing our Sunday morning gathering for this weekend and will comply with our state's leadership until we are directed to do otherwise. We are unsure of how long this season will be, but we do trust in God for his will to be done. And we are up for this challenge. Calvary has always faced obstacles with faith and strength. We are gonna be resilient and not let this circumstance cripple us with fear or despair. This is an opportunity for the Church of Jesus Christ to be a light, to be strong, and to offer assistance to our community. Please be ready, actually, to respond to families who may be affected by this pandemic. Thankfully, with modern technology, we have the option to have church online. Calvary can continue to offer our worship to God, we can deliver a message from the Bible, we can be together in spirit, and we can give our tithes and offerings while in our homes. The positive side to this circumstance is we can use our online services to share the message of hope and truth found in Jesus to those who normally wouldn't attend on Sunday mornings. All we have to do is click share and start sharing with our friends what God's all about, what Jesus is all about. We didn't know this day was coming, but God did. God was never surprised by today. He always knew, and this was something he would always see us through. Our leadership team at Calvary covet your prayers during this time. Let's be faithful to love God, love the church, and love our community. Remember, we do all we can, so all may know God's love and follow Jesus. Our offices will remain open. Ministry team and staff will continue to operate as normal. We remain available to you. And there are multiple ways to connect, give, and grow with us online. You can go to Calvary's website, calvarydover.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube to watch our sermons and our services online. And you can also download our app by searching Calvary Dover in your app store. I want to read to you a scripture that's on my heart for tonight and for this uh, season that we are in here. Uh, Philippians 4, 6 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Church, we're gonna be okay. And we do have to stand together. We do have to love our community and be there for them. And we keep our faith in God. God is gonna help us through this season and we look forward to getting through it. And we want uh, as many people to stay as healthy as possible. So uh, for that reason too, let's, let's pray for everyone and pray for our leaders, pray for our world. God, we thank you for your wisdom and guidance and your direction. Lord, we thank you that you were not surprised by this and you know what's going on. And Lord, we, we need your guidance, we need your peace. Lord, and we need uh, your wisdom on what to do and Lord, we pray for all those who are being affected by this virus, God, that you would touch them, you would heal them, be with all the doctors and all the nurses, God, give them strength. 
Lord, protect them and see them through all the difficulties they're facing. God, I pray there would be provision for supplies, for tests, for everything needed, God, to get people through the struggle. Lord, I pray that we as a community will not uh, live in fear or, or in hysteria, Lord. Instead, that we would uh, be calm and collect and trust you. God, uh, help us to be cautious and careful, but not careless. And Lord, I pray that uh, there would be peace in our hearts and that God, we as, as your people would shine and that we would show love and support and serve those around us that need our help. Help us to be the light in this time right now to shine Jesus Christ. Lord, we depend on you and we keep our faith in you and we rely on you. We thank you for being with us through this. And we look to you in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, church. We'll see you Sunday online. And uh, we look forward to ministering to you and also being together with you.